As I walk through the park, holding hands with a blonde, she don't know who I am, but at least understands. In the dark, by a pond, growing red at the swans. This is now. Norman, how was your snooze? How long have you been there? Long enough for me to realise I need a favour. I need you to drive me to work. Since when did you work? Pay attention, Mr. Norman, for I have a story to tell. So I was sitting on the couch talking to Kitty about how I desperately need a job at Channel 31. I need this, Kitty. It's the path I have to take so I can win over Penelope. Why do you want to be with that chick? She's a bitch! Kitty Love is blind, which means I can't see her bitchiness, even though I can, but I really can't, because Love is blind. I cannot process that line. It's simple, Kitty. I need help. I can help. Wizzy! regret asking you questions because of the responses I get, but I seem to ask anyway. Don't get your sniffer in a hoot, Mr. Norman. Let's go. If I had a perfect day, I would have it start this way. Open up the fridge and have a tall boy. Yeah. Then I'd meet up with my friends. I got a brunch to go to. Goodbye, Albert. Hey Davo, nice to see you again. How's it all going with Albert? Worse and worse. I'm afraid I'm just gonna snap his neck and ruin what we are really trying to do. Do not break loose yet. I have a grand plan. When I brought you guys to hell last week, do you really think I'd just conveniently let you go? Elfman gave me a brilliant idea, which will help you get the revenge on Albert you've been seeking for so long. You know, seeing you in this form, I almost forget. You're the devil. What the bloody hell are you mopping the floors for? Ah, uh, hey, Sizzy. I work here now. Ah, and here I hoped you had become more deformed and your face had moulded into your mouth, suffocating you until you relieve the world of your presence. Ah, Susie, you're so smart. No wonder we're friends. We heave with each other out. Sometimes I wonder if you can even hear me. After all, I see no evidence of ears in your face. Hey. We've been meeting each other for a while, but you are yet to tell me. Why do you want to kill Albert? And why do you want to do it in the most creative way? Well, it all began back when I was 17. Okay class, quiet down, we have work to do. Ah, uh, Mr. Wang, that Davo fella has alcohol in his water bottle. Davo, is this true? Ah, Mr. Way, is anything ever true? Is true ever anything? Am I ever anything? Of course I am, because right now, 
I am so drunk. Alcohol is bad. Uh, terrific calculation, dumbass. After Albert outed that I was drunk, I got expelled from school. And it was then time for revenge. So how are you going to get back at Albert? Well, Frank G, Robert has opted to help us out. We are going to give Albert a scare. Robert was a good friend of mine. I treated him like a brother and he did the same to me. The plan was for Robert to take Albert to a house where Albert believed the party was happening, but there was no party. Robert would disappear as Albert entered the house, and Robert would then appear in front of Albert, covered by a balaclava and a gun. He also would video the whole thing, watching Albert fear for his life. It was a brilliant plan, or so it seemed. So, Albert, are you ready to party down? Sure am. I even have my party hat on, and I hope these shoes will help get me best dressed. I wish I could understand you, Albert. And so they arrived at the party, and Robert told Albert to go in by himself. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna take a leak. So Robert got the gun off his dad. He says his dad's a collector. The guns are never loaded, so he was pointing the gun at Albert. None of us expected his reaction. He fought back. Robert didn't know the first thing about guns. He just assumed it wasn't loaded. He wasn't smart, but he was my best friend. Albert killed my best friend, and that is why you are here. You are going to help me get the best revenge on Albert. Make sure he suffers the worst death. Where was Frank G with all this? I think he was standing guard around the house somewhere. Why? No reason. So Frank G, this is your third visit this week. What is it you want to talk about today? Well, Doc, since I got my body and voice back, things from my past have started to come back. The reason I sacrificed myself to the devil in the first place, it's what I did when I was 17. To why I let the devil possess me, I could not handle the guilt. So the original plan was for Robert to scare Albert, but at the last minute, Robert pulled out. So it was me who was going to scare Albert. When I was doing it, Albert was terrified, and to intensify his fear, I decided to fire the trigger, which I thought wasn't loaded. Instinctively, Albert dived out of the way. I then noticed that Robert had come back to try and stop me because he thought what we were doing was wrong. So when I shot the gun, it shot Robert right in the head. I killed Robert. Well, from what you told me before the session, I can piece it together. Robert's first best friend David thinks Albert killed Robert. But in fact, it was you. Gee, you're lucky David doesn't know it's you. Although I'm sure he isn't someone who seeks revenge. Oh, devil is definitely not like that. 